Okay, let me get set here, uh, dude. What are you doing? Okay, uh, hello everyone. This is, uh, Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 17 of... Wait, 17? No, this is 5 of Let's Play, uh, Secret of Man of Blind. I don't know where I got the number 17 from. It was because I was looking at 17 up in the corner there. Probably what it was. Anyways, what am I doing here? Yeah, I want to get, uh... Because I so stupidly forgot this in the last, uh... No, don't do that. In the last video, I forgot to actually go equip the stuff that I bought, uh, namely this Kung Fu dress, 4 to 17, good lord. <laughs> well, that's an improvement if I ever saw one. And, uh, I guess we already got that, all that equipped. And Argon is dead, so I can't equip anything to a dead man, because that'd be a little bit creepy. But, uh, can I like, kill this guy? Oh man, I'm actually getting him. I remember in like, the last episode, I couldn't hit these guys for anything, but I appear to be getting him now, so I don't know what the problem was before. Now he's just sitting there and taking it up the ass. Look at this. Oh, sweet. Nice. So, if I recall correctly, I haven't actually played this in a while, as you probably very well know, because the last episode was up three weeks ago. I don't even know what happened. It didn't even feel like that long to me, but... Whatever. And I think we're supposed to go to Guy's Naval now. Or back to Guy's Naval, because, uh... I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, I need to, I should probably watch the last video. Like, I went back and, like, checked the comments of the last video, and there surprisingly wasn't that much stuff for me to, like, learn from there. I don't know, normally it's, it's like, chock full of stuff that I need to, that I, like, either forgot or didn't do or something. But, last time was pretty tame in the comments, what can I say? But, we're heading to Guy's Naval now. I think what we need was an axe to break down some trees in the forest there. And we also need to head there to, uh investigate about a blacksmith for our spear. I think that's what it was. Anyways. Well, we'll just deal a massive damage as we work our way back. I should probably head back to the village first, actually, just to heal up. Because I can't be just walking in there with, like, carrying a dead body, just lugging it along behind me now, can I? That wouldn't be very befitting of a lady. Uh, so, uh, go heal that up, I guess. I don't know if I should even be cutting this out. That's one of the weird things about blind LPs is that you never know what to, what exactly to cut out. Like, obviously, if it's, like, a bunch of fail or, like, backtracking where you're not even going to be saying anything, then, yeah, you'll cut that out. But something like this, I don't know, because, like, it's the very start of an episode. You can't just cut, like, right then and there. Well, I guess I could, but... Mm, Rabbi gets whacked! Nice, not like it mattered, but still nice to see. All right, let's head on in. Uh, one thing I do remember someone saying, though, is that actually, like, uh... They intend you to control, like, your main character, Argon, or whatever whatever yours is called. Whatever he's supposed to be called, I don't know. They intend you to control him, like, most of the time. And that's why his AI kind of sucks. Because he wasn't doing quite as well in fighting on his own as, uh, Sydney was. I was kind of noticing that. So maybe that's why. So I think I, I should probably switch to him for a little while, anyways. And, uh, I guess that's, all. that's it. We're off the guy's navel now. Actually, one thing that I did learn from last episode, too, or last episode's comments, is that, uh, people can... Wait, what was I saying? <laughs> people can. That sounds like I'm about to start a philosophical debate or something there. But no, it was that, uh, you can meet Sydney in a variety of different ways or something. Like, you can, like, not pick her up the castle at all, and then, like, pick her up in the forest later from wolves or something. Or you can, like, she'll abandon you in the cave. I don't know, it's so... There are a bunch of weird stories. I kind of just want to stick with her, though, you know? Show her some good courtship. That's not the right word, but never mind. Oh, dude! Mm -hmm. Man, poisoned. Uh, yeah, so, um, I was actually tweeting about this a second ago, and I thought I'd just mention for those of you watching this in current time, as in March 20th of 2012, or sometime around then, March, March 21st or whatever, is that there probably won't be a video on March 21st, because, um, I'm going to Edmonton for the day, on a French trip of all things, so, uh, I don't know, there might be one if I can, like, set things up just right, but it would be very unpractical to do that, or impractical, because unpractical is not a word as much as I'd like it to be. Alright, so, uh, man, there's, like, rocks and things everywhere here. This is, like, the longest trek ever to get back to Guy's Navel through this whole big spirally area. Kind of fun, though. Nice little cliff face. This is the kind of area that I would just, like, come to and hike through. Dude, I- What?! I died again! No freaking way! <laughs> you know what? Just screw it, man. I'm just gonna keep going. You know what? I don't care if I'm dead. I've spent enough time jerking around here to save my life. Alright, let's see. Um, I'll even save the game. Yeah, might as well save. Sure thing. I don't think that's going to heal him, but... Oh well. Maybe I should have bought, in, like, some of those revival cups of wishes or whatever they were. I don't know. But we'll just, uh... We'll let Sydney go on her own for a little bit here and see how far we can get before we die, too. And then it's, like, then it's game over or something. I don't know. Hmm. These are some ugly bats, man. They take quite a walloping, too. 
Nice. And I also saw like some video, like uh, I think it was Pix Caliber. He posted a video response of like how you can get combos on enemies if you like just like keep hitting them over and over again. But it's like combos of little numbers, like two or three or four damage instead of like the big hits like that. Like there was an occasion, there was occasionally big hits, but it was nothing uh nothing to call home about. Sydney's weapon skill up. Nice. I thought I got a critical hit there actually. You guys are ugly. It's slime time. Oh no. Wait, why aren't they taking damage? I swear I was hitting those things, them and their smug mugs. Yeah, I was. See, look at that. They're, they fell down. Dude, what is up with these things? Huh. Okay, they're taking zero. Oh, that one took zero damage. I saw that. And, and hopefully, if it's taking zero damage, that means it's able to take a number higher than zero damage, too. That's the way things generally work here. But apparently not with these guys. What the hell? Can I get them out of the water? Is the water doing something to them? I don't... No. <laughs> Alright, get over here. Let's see what I can do to you guys. Maybe if I, like, charge up. You guys are weird. But I want to kill one. Okay, he's dead. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> I did some damage to him, I think. Should I be wasting my time with this? Probably not. But I got time to spare, so... Actually, I really don't. But They're not even doing any damage to me, though, so... I guess this is just fine. Um, oh, I did something. Sweet. I think I killed one. Nice. Man, oh my god, I split up. <laughs> that was scary. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> it's just gonna be like the rest of the video fighting these guys or something. Dude, they are splitting up. Well, if that's the case, then I'm not even gonna bother. I could probably... Those are probably like the best things to grind off of, though, aren't they? They just keep like respawning like that, splitting over and over again. Kid Goblin gets whacked. <laughs> Is that like Kid Dracula's half-brother? I don't know. Certainly looks the part. <laughs> nice. Oh, nothing down here. This reminds me of a cave in Earthbound. That one cave that the dude got like Retsu prayed in or something. I actually forget the name of the cave itself, which is kind of sad since I'm such a huge Earthbound uh, fanatic. Uh, dude, I don't know how that guy took that little bit of two damage there. Nothing really hit him except the wall. Well, there we go. Level 6, not bad. No, I missed the treasure of wealth. Couldn't have been anything that spectacular, could it? Somehow I doubt it. This is nice soothing music, I don't know. It would have been cool if they like changed the music for the cave, though, at least. Because I think this is the same music as outside, isn't it? Balloon level 0. Not this again! Damn it! <laughs> I still have no idea what it does. I think it's trying to like carry me away or something, but it's like failing because it's level 0. Lord knows, though. Man, look at this. This is nasty. I assume I'm not supposed to go that way yet. <laughs> yeah, could they make it any more obvious? They're like, hey, jackass, there's lava on the way, and you're getting thwacked by a kid goblin. How very savage. How dare you hit a lady? Didn't your papa ever teach you manners, little kid? Jeez. Alright. Man, I'm just... <laughs> The enemies here aren't really a threat, they're just like annoying because they take so many hits to kill. Oh, well, I guess I'm not really complaining because, uh, getting experience off of it, I guess. Experience both in terms of like actual in game experience and experience as a player. Of course, it would probably be better experience if Argon was still alive. I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to him. He must have like gotten po- that, he got poisoned twice, I think, on the way, and that's something that contributed to it at least. See if I can get a nice little charge attack on him. hoo -ah! Nice! Oh my god, 52! This is because I got a critical with a charge attack. How, how much more heavy damage can you get? Boom! Baby. Oh, that's pretty good, man. No, I comboed you. Thank you. Did I just kill him with zero damage? Well, dude, this is a dead end. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. Maybe if I just kill everything in the room or something, maybe some Mario or Zelda style puzzle. I don't, I don't totally know. Um, can I do something here? Hello? Because there's like a skull on the wall there and I kind of want to break through it. But I don't, I'm not sure there's a way to do that. No, don't do that. It's not going to help anybody. Um, I guess we can't go that way quite yet. I didn't really see any other way to go except for that lava area. And there was like 
know where to go from there either. Unless you can like hop down a ledge or something. Hmm. I might be a little bit stumped. Wait, can you go this way? Wait, no, that's not where I just was, dummy. Okay, well I have to be able to go... Wait, what? Okay, I think this is new because I never saw this like purple lake here before. Man, this is almost like the... Uh, whoa! Cave of Rebirth or something. Dude! Holy crap. Okay, that nah, we've definitely never been here because I never saw a mushroom before in this cave anyways. I want to back, go back up here and explore. Not you! No! <laughs> I don't want to deal with your ass again, you stupid slimes. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's being guarded by two little kitties. So that must be something of worth then if it's not just randomly dropped by a monster. I mean, I'd assume anyways. I still, I don't even know if this game has that, like, where, like, random items, like, really good, like, 2% drops or whatever can be dropped by monsters. Like, good weapons like they can in Earthbound or something. I still have no inclination of that or not. Well, let's see what this is for now. Found the magic rope! I don't know what that is! Um, let me see. Is that somewhere in my inventory? No, that's the spike knuckle down there. This is the magic rope. What exactly does this do? I'm kind of afraid to try. I think I'm gonna wait for a little bit. <laughs> Cause something in my gut tells me that it's sort of like an escape rope and if you like I use it it'll let me right out of the cave or something. And I'm not totally sure that's what I want at this point. I mean I suppose it would be good to so I could just go heal Argon, but uh I guess I can't go that way. But I think for now I'll just leave it alone. Leave it be. Oh man. These guys all take the same beating. It's the same thing over and over. Man, my commentary has been shit in this video. I'm so sorry, guys. You're gonna have, you're not gonna have anything to comment about. It's gonna be nuts. Oh well. <laughs> Some of those videos, you gotta have a slow day here and there, you know. Cause like, if every day was fast-paced and action-filled, and I was funny every time, and all the commentary was exactly the same amount of excitedness, then really every day would be pretty boring, wouldn't it? In the reality of things, I'm not gonna deal with those guys, with those jack munches. Oh, well, they're gonna make me apparently. One way or another, I'm gonna have to fight some monsters, I guess. So, might as well just take the path most traveled. All right, nothing that way. Uh, can I go this way? I, I I stepped over like rocks like these before. I don't know what the problem is now, but okay. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm never gonna be able to find my way out of this. Uh, hopefully there's like a hopefully that magic rope does do what I expect it to do. <laughs> That's the best staircase ever. Must be missing a block or something. A block underneath it that will elevate the staircase. Okay, there's another one of these skulls in the walls. Are, is this gonna be important later? Should I be taking note of this? Sketching it down on my DS pad? I don't know. Um, well I can't go that way. And these rocks are blocking my way this way. So, so I'm hooped. Um, let me see here. I swear to God I can get around this. If I jump over it, I highly doubt this is going to work, but... Hiya! Nope. <laughs> Just got blocked, man. Blocked by the ankle-high rocks. Alright, I can't go that way. There's nowhere to go around here, so I have to head back up. Well, I'm just backtracking. This is no fun. Alright, if I head up here, this looks very familiar, but I'm not totally sure that I actually went this way or not. Okay, yeah, this is where I got the magic rope, okay. So if I head down... Uh, well, you know, screw it, let's just use the magic rope, maybe it's the secret. Um... Shoot, it did, it took me right back to the start of this. Oh, no! <laughs> well, damn it. You know what I think, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna actually go and, uh... Oh, shoot. I'm gonna go heal up Argon and try and make my way back to that room where I first found the magic rope. Because that seems like a sort of a good reference or halfway point for this uh, labyrinthine thing. So uh, I'll meet you guys back there in a second. Just hold on. Okay guys, I'm back in this room finally. I'm a little bit more stocked up and prepared than I was last time. Uh, I did a little bit of inventory at the shop. I got some more candies. I got a, a few cups of wishes, which I think are supposed to revive you. I'm not totally certain of that. Uh, nothing with the weapons. And I actually bought some more armor and stuff and equipped that dude. <laughs> Better show it off. Right, that's not new. 
Uh, I also sold my excess armor here, so here's what I got. Don't know if I made the right decision or not, but the numbers are higher, so what can I complain? I sold it all for, or sold all my excess for the minimalistic uh, profit that I could, and damn it, I'm poisoned again, and I already used my one and only, like, medical herb. Oh, level six, nice. What a way to cut in, eh? All right, forget these guys. Dude, they're poisoning me left and right. It's so sad. All right, come on, Sydney. Uh, we gotta get out of here. I know you're a savage and unruly girl, but no. All right, so I don't think I ever went this way, and it's... Oh, there's nothing there. <laughs> never mind. Jeez, I thought it was so clever. I thought, it, like, on my way back, I saw that, and I'm like, oh, hey, I never went that way. But then it just turned out to be a dead end the first step I took in. Uh, have I gone this way yet? Probably, yeah, this is the stupid dead end with the slimes, and they're kicking my ass! Okay, well, apparently I can kill these guys with, like, this spear, though. I don't know, the spear seems to be doing a lot better than the sword ever did. So that's cool. Nice. Green Drop gets whacked! Is that seriously their name? Green Drop? That's so funny. It's so funny because it's so unoriginal. But it's, it's like, the unoriginality of it makes it more original. Because normally, they tr like, developers try to be more creative. And so they come up with these weird ass names. But like no one ever just thinks to use hey, let's just call it green drop, what do you say? <laughs> so it's kinda cool in that in that respect of in that respect. Mm. Oh dude, I hate these things. Yeah, they do totally split. Because there's like three of them now, whereas or are there four? I can't even tell. <laughs> Jeez, man. I don't know why Sydney wasn't getting poisoned. She wasn't taking any damage from these guys, and they're totally kicking Argon's ass here. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking I'm going to use a candy on him real quick. Because I don't trust myself to sustain myself for too much longer here the way I'm going. Alright. That's one down. Let's see if we can rack up some combos here. Well, you probably could if you warped, if you warped in the right direction. Ooh, Sydney's at level 7. Yay! Lucky number 7s. Alright, so where the hell am I going again? I'm totally lost. I bet I... It's probably like the way I have to go is way back at the start or something. And I'm just, and I'm totally jacking around here, not knowing where to go or what to do. And I'm totally not supposed to be here right now, but who knows, man? Who really knows? Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. And I'm going to have to cut off this episode pretty soon here, because, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit to cut out with all the backtracking nonsense. With all that backtracking gobbledygook, but... Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna use the magic rope and just start from the start from the bottom of the barrel and work my way up, you know. Alright, no, this is the way I just went. This is the way to the magic rope. Maybe there's something over to the left there? Where was that little like lava passageway? I haven't seen that uh in quite a while. Let me see if I can go find that really quick. Cause that's kinda bugging me that that just like disappeared because there was like that one random lava room or something. And, was it down here? Probably was, wasn't it? Because, yeah, this looks, uh... Yeah, okay, here we go. Have I been here yet? Hmm. Oh, hello. This looks slightly familiar. Wait, is this just the start of the freaking thing? This is the start of the stupid thing! What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. What a jackass. I might just make this, like, a super long video or something, too. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that, though, with the limited space I have in my... Hard drive. Have I gone this way yet? I swear I have. I must have, yeah, because I remember going up to the right there and I couldn't pass. Then I headed across here and there was like a green slime. Yes, okay. Now where does that exactly get me? It gets me to almost being died here. Almost being dead, I mean. Does anyone ever do that where they switch the different like conjugations of the word to try and evoke a more emphatic never mind well shoot <laughs> I think I'm stumped guys I think I really am now is where the blindness factor truly comes in isn't it good lord okay I can't go that way obviously I, I it feels like I should be able to go this way but I can't if I had a rope snake maybe but no maybe this guy's hiding a secret let's try and figure it out uh these, these, these... Wait, what? Dude, that did not work before! No way! But what does that do for me, though? I can't, like, very well hop down that hole, can I? 
Well, if that did something... Wait. What? Holy crap. Oh, I see he can cross here. Well, there was that other skull up there, too, that I have to go... I might have to go back for that. Uh, do I dare? I think I'm gonna cliffhang it here, guys. I, I have no idea. This is the this is the silliest music ever, and I love it. This is totally a festival tune. And I can't wait to see what's beyond this door. I finally figured it out, though. It took, like, ten minutes longer than it really should have, but... I got it. Man, I want to make this my ringtone now. This is cool. Okay, uh, so I'll talk to you guys next time. And uh, hopefully we won't be so bamboozled next time. I'm so sorry. Thanks, everyone, for watching this gong show. This has been Argon Matrix, and I am signing out now. Thank you, and good night.